Hey guys, and welcome to this week's riveting art video. My name is Izzy. Today we're going to be doing some Q&As. Now, these questions, I sourced them from uh, Instagram, here on YouTube, on the community tab, on my Facebook page, and over on my TikTok. So if you're sad that you didn't get a chance to uh, ask a question, then make sure to check me out on all of those social media platforms. I highly recommend you check out all of them because I may or may not be doing a video in the next month or two where I draw followers, you know, just, <laughs> just a heads up. Really quick, I want to talk about the supplies I'm using in this video just so that you guys have those answers before uh, we introduce more questions, you know what I mean? So I'm basically just using my Prismacolor Premier color pencils, a generic black India ink, uh, my Prismacolor Premier colorless blender, and then I am using Bristol paper. Nothing crazy, um, and that's basically all I'm using. Oh, and a, and a white gel pen. So, super easy supplies for today. And with all of that being said, let's go ahead and start with some questions. Our first question today comes from Instagram, from me underscore Dante05, and he asked, is there anything you avoid slash hate drawing? Um, recently, I would say I've been really avoiding anatomy. Uh, there have been times in my life where I've been like super good at it and I like love it. Uh, but right now I'm just like, I've been really avoiding it and I've just not been feeling super confident in it. So I'm hoping to force myself to do some here soon, um, with like mermaid and stuff. Um, but as of right now, that's like a big thing for me and then something and something else just to kind of add on to that is like landscapes i i love to look at like a beautiful little like you know when people do like the isometric rooms and stuff and they create these like environments with all the little clutter and all that stuff i'd love to draw them and i sat down to do them and i'm just like i i can't <laughs> So our next question, again, is from Instagram, from naturally.carish, um, and our question is, what are two things you've always wanted to do? Places, people, events, etc. Um, so I really, really, really want to go to Japan at some point, which I know is kind of a basic answer, <laughs> but I really want to go as my, uh, honeymoon I guess uh, I don't have plans to get married soon but I have talked to my boyfriend about us going to Japan on our honeymoon and doing like a smaller wedding or something so that we can afford it uh, it's just like there's just so many things that I want to do there like go to the Nintendo store <laughs> um, yeah and then another thing is I just want to go to museums more um, I minored in art history and it's actually kind of sad how few museums and how few like artworks I've seen you know what I mean like like I want to go to the Salvador Dali Museum in Florida and actually see the paintings that I studied for four years in real life like I've just constantly been told that art looks so much better in person than it ever will in your textbook or on your phone screen so yeah just go to more museums and stuff like I just or not just even go to more museums just go to them in the first place this question is from here on YouTube and it's from Liz Gridley artist uh, just so you guys know she makes videos here on YouTube as well and every now and then uh, I do like to watch some of her videos and she is literally amazing way better than me <laughs> so definitely go and check out her videos she's always been very nice in my comments section and everything so her question is what gets you through art block or the distraction of everyday life and honestly um the distraction of everyday life is one of my biggest roadblocks when it comes to art i i've weirdly enough put 
art on the back burner or I put art for myself on the back burner a lot of the time. So something I do and I mean it seems kind of like a weirdly obvious answer but I just force myself to draw. Like I could just be like I don't even want to draw and so what do I do? I get out my sketchbook and I put it in front of me and I'm like you know what girl you are not allowed to watch TV or play Animal Crossing or do anything until you doodle a face. And it doesn't even have to be good. I don't use like a reference. I'm just like, draw something. And then the next thing I know, I'm like, you know, maybe I'll do this a little bit more. And then I can put on like a TV show or something and, and you know, just let my hand do whatever it wants. And then kind of like the next thing I know, I'm like excited to create something a little bit more big something a little bit with a little bit more effort um so that's kind of how I get through art block is by literally forcing myself <laughs> to do something um and then the distractions of everyday life I think in general it's really hard to you know look away from your phone to look away from the screens in your life and get down to work and get down to business um, I just had to kind of put myself in a situation where those distractions aren't there. Sadly, with COVID, I haven't been able to go to coffee shops, and so my, like, ability to get work done has, like, dwindled and has plummeted into the abyss of sadness that is my life. <laughs> so... Yeah, normally, when things are normal, I would I would go to the park, I'd go to coffee shops, um, those kind of places, and do work. Now, if you're talking in terms of art, it can be a big hassle if you're an oil painter, you know, to, like, you can't really pop up in a coffee shop with all your oil paints, but you can go to a park and paint oil paintings and stuff. Yes, it's a lot of extra work, but because you're putting that work in to go there you're once you get there you're like well I might as well start painting because otherwise it would have been a waste of effort to get all lug all this stuff here um and you kind of have no choice but to like actually get work done and I you have to kind of assess yourself as well I uh <laughs> I know that when there are other people around that I am a lot more self-conscious and I, I don't want people to think that I'm lazy and all that stuff. So that's why I put myself in social settings when I want to get work done because I'm afraid someone's going to look at me and judge me for being lazy. And it's like, girl, you got all these books and stuff in front of you, but you're just on your phone. Nobody actually cares, but I know that that's what my brain thinks. And so I know that I can get work done in those situations. For some people, it's the other way around. You know, if you have like ADHD, you have a hard time paying attention, and like, all there's all these like external sounds and movements and things. It might not be a good idea for you, <laughs> but that's just what I do. That was really long-winded, but I I hope that gave you some inspiration. This next question isn't super serious or anything, <laughs> but it is from Joe Exotic is Innocent over on TikTok. So they asked, who is your favorite Animal Crossing villager? Um, I have to say, overall, I would say Blue Bear. When I was playing New Leaf, I, like, Blue Bear was one of my OG villagers, and I really just loved her. Um, but I also have a soft spot for Rosie. Honestly, those are both kind of, like, basic answers. Like, they're really cute, and I love them. <laughs> so... Uh, but in terms of mainline characters, I really love Reese and Cyrus, and I'm really sad that we haven't seen them in New Horizons yet, but I do know that they will be popping up here soon with um, wedding season event or whatever. So yeah, another question from TikTok from Oreo1914, and they asked, what majors did you take in school? So I majored in art. I did not go on to do the BFA, which is the Bachelor's of Fine Art. Um, my school, you had to apply for it. And honestly, 
I just didn't feel like applying to it and there were a lot of um, like the classes you had to take to get the BFA as opposed to just the regular BA um, a lot of those classes didn't actually interest me as much I was much more interested in taking photography and art history stuff and I would have to take less of those and more of other things and I felt like I would get the most out of my time by doing a regular BA. Um, it, it's a very minute difference and most people don't actually care. It really only matters if you want to get your master's degree. Um, but to kind of make up for that on resume purposes, I went ahead and minored in art history. Uh, I just really enjoyed art history and I thought it kind of gave me an edge potentially on my resume and yeah I, I also I've, I've had some interest in working in art galleries and I feel like having that uh, art history background like I said it gives me an edge and it kind of pushes me in the right direction that if I do want to get a master's degree later on uh, I think it would help me out in the long run our last question for the day is from TikTok and it is from goat's milk with two k's and they asked your goal with tiktok and youtube uh actually this question kind of like caught me off guard a little bit uh which is why i chose it i thought it was kind of interesting i i often don't think about like what my goal is um i i have like small milestones but i don't have a big like, I don't have like a two year, three year plan for all of this social media stuff. I know that I would like to hit, hit monetization by the end of the summer. Now, does that mean I wanna like be full-time YouTuber by the end of the summer? Not, not particularly. <laughs> um, I don't know, I think it's fun and I like the idea that it could lead to something um, bigger picture down the road. I'm just in this really weird point in my life. I, you know, I graduated college about a year ago and I'm like kind of stepping into the workforce and it's about that time that I kind of, you know, start settling down and deciding what I'm going to do, but also it's that time to start like, you know, approaching dreams and like really deciding what's feasible, what I can actually do. What I actually want to do and right now I'm doing a little bit of everything I'm trying to teach I'm trying to do uh, social media stuff I'm trying to market myself and you know do client work and things and I'm kind of spreading myself thin but I'm just trying to see what fits me and what I want to do long term and uh, right now I, I love the idea of doing uh, YouTube and or TikTok long term but I don't I don't know I'm just kind of like riding the wave right now I'm only 23 you know so that was the last question I'm gonna answer today I do encourage you guys to go ahead and hit subscribe follow me on all those other social medias that I mentioned because like I said I would love to do more of these in the future and potentially uh, you know, get your guys' input on future videos just in general. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be answering more TikTok questions over on TikTok because I got a lot of questions over there. So be sure to check out TikTok if not anything else, if you want more questions answered. If you like the artwork I made in today's video, it is on Redbubble, so you can get a print, a sticker, you know, a notebook, all sorts of things. I hope by the end of 2019 to actually kind of stop using Redbubble and potentially start selling things off of my own website. Um, it's just going to take a bit of transition and I kind of just don't have the funds right now to support that transition. So that being said, I would take advantage of the fact that I have a huge like selection over on Redbubble because it might not be there forever. So just keep that in mind. 
with all that being said thank you so much for watching this week's riveting art video and i hope to see you next week for another riveting art video